What's going on out here? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you guys got some crazies in ya? You got some craziness in ya? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I had to steam clean the carpet last night. Whoa! Because uh, somebody threw up in here. I don't know who it was. <laughs> it's so silly. So I had to steam clean the carpet. Now he's going to sniff up. Max, no sniffing. <laughs> um... So there's no dog beds in here. My steam cleaner's still out here and my dog beds are all piled up over here. So they got a big area to run around and play. Yes. So that's what I did last night. And during the day yesterday, I groomed Milo and Mozzie. And uh, I found a, some, excuse my pajama pants. <laughs> I've been living in pajamas. Look at Mozzie's beard already after I groomed him. Yes. You, your beard's already messy, Mozzie. But when I was grooming him, I noticed on his right side, my clipper was like, like it wasn't cutting right or something. And I felt, and he has a, some kind of mass on his right side. Not big. Doesn't feel connected to anything. It feels like the uh, type of cyst he had on his chest that we had removed um, when he had his t teeth cleaned. Hold on, let me turn off my TV. I didn't realize it was, I forgot it was on. Um, yeah, so I'm taking him. I'm going to have to break my self-quarantine again on Monday. Whoop, now they're chasing the kitty. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to break it again on s Monday at 3.30 to take him to the vet. So someone asked me why I was out and about the other day and um, if I'm in self-quarantine. Well... The PO, when I went to my P.O. box, I saw I was in contact with no one. Um, I had to get milk. I guess I could have lived without milk. Yes, I could have. But I wanted milk and I wanted my sausage. So I ran in, took the precautions of washing my hands, disinfecting my steering wheel in my car. Um, so, and I also had to break quarantine earlier um in the quarantine because i had to go get what is this what is this <laughs> it's a kitty toy um i had to go get uh the boys and the cats heart guard um yeah so i'm trying my hardest to stay um home and out but i want to get i'm thinking this um mass is nothing but i need to get it checked out hold on guys all right, sorry about that. My son came downstairs and he talked to me for a minute. So anyways, yes, I'm trying to do my best with staying home, but sometimes you just gotta go out. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that cyst is nothing on Mozzie, but I still wanna get it checked out. What? Milo, you don't even know what you're working about. I don't, I don't even know what you're working about. What are you guys working about? Magnum, what are you barking about? I don't see anything. Okay. Um, what was he talking about? <laughs> oh, they have a new protocol. Yes, Miggy. Yes, Miggy. Yes. Yes, Miggy. Yes, Miggy. Yes, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so when I get to the vet, I'm not going to the surgical center. I'm going to our actual vet. Um, when I get there, I have to call and let them know I'm there. A uh, technician will come out, get a little brief history from me, what's going on. 
Um, and then they'll take them in. The doctor will examine them. I won't be going in. Um, uh, the doctor will examine them and then uh, call me on the phone. The doctor will call me on the phone um, to discuss what's going on. And then they'll bring Mozzie back out to me. So, yes, yeah, so we have to go Monday at 3.30. So, like I said, I'm trying to stay quarantined. I knew... I would have to take someone to the vet. <laughs> I just had a funny feeling. Someone would have to go to the vet. Yes. So, all right, guys. Um, just wanted to do a little check-in, see how everyone's doing, and uh, we will talk.